الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله نبينا محمد وآله وصحبه أجمعين when the ulama talk about the intentions the niyat and the effect of the intention they talk about it in many ways from that is that the person can even turn his adat ibadat into ibadat what is adat in english jazakallah khair that the person can turn his habits like eating working sleeping even having fun exercising in all that he can turn into acts of worship because of good intention Allahu Akbar somebody go to his work working 8 hour 9 hour 10 hour or more or less he intend he has a good intention he is an act of worship while the same one Muslim who attend the same job get no reward from that but this person is considered someone who is an act of worship someone who intend to have i'tikaf in the masjid from time to a time i will remain in the masjid i will not leave the masjid i intend that for allah it's not like someone who stay the same masjid the same time but didn't have that intention just because of the intention so the ulama they mention at the beginning it is very hard to turn your habits into act of worship they say it's very hard but through mumarasa training remembering and taking it serious subhanallah Allah open for you the gates of khair how you intend one of the salaf salih said inni ahtasibu ala allah naumati kama ahtasibu alayhi qawmati one of the sahaba he said i expect reward from allah from my sleeping as I expect a reward from Allah for my praying. The same way. Sometime in the night he pray, sometime he sleep. The reward he is expecting from Allah when he's praying is the same he's expecting when he's sleeping. How? Because he sleep in order to pray. He sleep in order to have energy so he can worship Allah. So with a good intention, eight hour, some of us they sleep eight hour, some of us more. So what left from our life? If eight hour in sleeping, two hour going to work, coming back, two hour at least eating food, two hour or three shopping. You see that? Let alone other stuff. What left from the time of ibadah? So someone can turn those habits into an act of worship. You work eight hours in order to suffice yourself from haram. In order to be al yadul uliya, the upper hand is better than the lower hand. The hand which gives is better than the hand which takes and beg and asks people. In order to suffice yourself from haram, you intend in order to suffice your family those who you must provide them you intend to obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and provide your wife your children so you are an act of worship as long the act, amal the action you do is halal of course the the good intention doesn't turn into good the bad actions you don't drink alcohol for the sake of Allah no because this is haram you don't commit suicide for the sake of Allah because this is haram. You, call, you don't kill innocent because for the sake of Allah. No, the good intention cannot change the bad action into good. No. But the good intention makes the good action, the ibadah, good. For good intention. And it makes the happiness, the adat, good into act of worship. Then people, they vary. The physical appearance, we seem the same way. But some of the people, 
all their action they get reward from Allah Azza wa Jal. Even when they exercise, the ulama they give example. You exercise to have energy. You eat food to have energy to worship Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. All this. Some of us we think only the ibadat is salah and fasting and giving sadaqah. No, ibadat you can turn all the habits into act of worship. Naam. So that's why some of the salaf they say, Ba'alajna shay'an ashadda ala anfusina min niyatina. They didn't cure, they didn't try to cure worse to them, something worse than, uh, than the soul, uh, the intention on themselves. The intention, renewing. Shaykh Uthameen Rahimahullah he said, when you fa- washing your face and you're making wudu, he said, it is not the same. If you intend, I am applying the command of Allah, فَغْسِلُوا وُجُوهَكُمْ Wash your face when you make him wudu. I'm obeying Allah. He said the reward is not the same. So from these things, imagine when you're eating food, when you're sleeping, when you're going, when you exercise, when you're working, when you're shopping, all that, each time you renew your intention, I'm doing this to, in order to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This itself is a remembering. So 24 hours you are in remembrance. That was the way the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Kurullah, fi kulli ahyani. Prophet was remembering Allah in all his situations. How is he remembering when he's sleeping? The sleep itself is remembering. Because he sleeps, Sallallahu to, to get energy, to worship Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. Al-Muhim, so a believer to remember, istihdar niyyah, the renewal of the intention. If we don't do that, even the ibadat, the ibadat itself, the act of worship, turn into adat habits. Let alone turning the habits into act of worship. The acts of worship become habit. Some people, hijab is habit, it's a culture. Salah is habit. No meaning behind that. No. These are ibadat. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives you reward. It gets you close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You have to have the intention to get that from Allah. We ask Allah to forgive us all.